unbelievable animals discovered in Venezuela that are not from Earth. And we're kicking off the list with the pebble toad, which is exclusive to the Guana Highlands of Venezuela. These things are awesome. I think I've found my new favorite type of toad. So uh, how do toads usually get around? Well, they're similar to frogs in that they hop, right? Pretty much every frog and toad leaps around with their powerful hind legs, but not this one. These things tuck up into balls, more like tents up, and then roll down cliff sides, especially when they need to make a very quick getaway when threatened by predators. They're like Sonic the Hedgehog toads. That is just fun. Nature, it's a complete grab bag. Horrifying and scary at times, and incredibly enjoyable, or even just straight up silly at others. As for why these toads do this, it's how they've adapted to the mountainous, rocky region where they live. They don't live in the rainforest with lots of stuff to hide behind, like grass, for example, so they need to make very quick getaways because they're often out in the open. So this means they basically just like dive off cliffs with reckless abandon, just tensing up and just hoping for the best. Next on the list, we have the giant anteater, just one of many large animal species residing in this part of the world. So why is this on a not from Earth list? Uh, well, I mean, just look at it. That is a bizarre looking animal. Anteaters are weird already. So a giant anteater, it's, it's just more of that. It's just a higher concentration of weird. An animal that is specifically designed for snorting ants and termites. I love how specific some animals are, like almost niche in a way. These anteaters have no teeth, relying solely on their specialized tongues, which are very long uh, to slurp up insects. Giant anteaters can reach up to eight feet in length, which is just too big. They look, they look fine when they're small, just kind of goofy, but this is not a creature I need an eight foot version of. Let's stay in the giant realm for a moment and discuss the giant armadillo. I really dig armadillos. They really look like creatures you'd see in Pokemon. I mean, Sandshrew is basically an armadillo. They're just fascinating looking and animal coated in armor. It's just really cool, especially because armadillos are mammals. Mammals with protective plating like this, not something you see very often. And these ones are giant, even better. These are the largest armadillo species in the world. The largest living species anyway. Glyptodons lived around 38 million years ago and were almost the size of a small car. These guys measure in at around 30 to 40 inches in length and weigh around 40 to 70 pounds. Next on the list, we have the harpy eagle. This is one terrifying bird. These things eat sloths, porcupines, monkeys. What kind of birds eat monkeys? True apex predators, that's who. And just look at it. It just looks bad. Like, looks like its face is permanently locked into that look of like, what did you say? No, really, like, what would you say? Say that again and watch what happens. What did you say, huh? It's like the Joe, Joe Pesci of, uh, of uh, birds. These are some of the largest eagles in the world, living in the tropical lowland rainforests of Venezuela, as well as other parts of South America. Female harpy eagles are larger than the males, growing up to 36 to 40 inches and weighing in around 13 to 20 pounds. Next up is the poison dart frog. These have to be some of the most spectacular looking amphibians on the planet, incredibly striking. They're small and cute, vibrant in color with a variety of types coming in shades of bright blue and orange, yellow and black. They're beautiful, but they're also incredibly dangerous, creating poisonous toxins from their skin. Rather than tensing up and rolling down cliffs like the aforementioned pebble toad, these little frogs use their poison in order to deter predators. Poison dart frog is kind of an umbrella term. There are a number of frog species that fall under it, varying in color and toxicity level. The most poisonous of the bunch is the golden poison frog, which is pure bright yellow in color. A single one of these things is potent enough to take out as many as 20 men, or about 10,000 mice. As for how this group of frogs got their name, they were often used by indigenous tribes to poison the tips of blow darts. And next up we have the another large animal, the capybara, the largest species of rodent in the world. Yeah, these four and a half foot creatures are indeed rodents. Imagine your standard New York subway type rat growing to that kind of size. Horrifying. These things kind of resemble oversized guinea pigs, though. They're also a bit beaver-like. Their 
They're really good swimmers with partially webbed feet and the ability to stay submerged for up to five minutes. Capybaras live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals. They're highly social animals forming tight-knit communities. One of the oddest and cutest things about these animals, though, is that they seem to form unlikely friendships with other animals, sometimes adopting orphan chicks or, or small mammals. Just look at this picture of a capybara with a bird on its head. Like, that's like something you'd see in The Lion King or something. 